I don't always design a toy train on Inventor, but when I do, I boil her up. The next part we're going to make is the stack for the train. So I'm going to start a new part. And I'm going to do the XY plane. And there's many ways you could do it. You could use your loft. Um, I'm going to use the revolve tool. So I'm going to take a line. And I'm going to go all the way up 1.75. And I'm going to go over a bunch and down. And yes, I know I'm going uh, straight down. OK, so yeah, I know I went straight down here. Uh, but what we'll do here in a second will be helpful. So let's go ahead and dimension and everything else that we know. So this right here, we know the diameter is 0.5, but we need the radius. So we're going to divide it by 2. We know that this space right here, the height is 0.25. We also know that at this point, from the bottom, it's 1.5. And the entire height is 1.75. The next dimension we're going to do is from this point to our center line. And that needs to be 1.25 divided by 2. And now I'm going to hit escape and draw a new line. And it's going to start at that point. And I'm not going to worry about the angle right now because I'm going to take my dimension. And I'm going to click there and click there. And you can see we've got like, um, we've got, I've got 39 degrees. I'm going to change that to 15. And now I'm going to trim away what I don't want. So I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, just kidding. I got to click on my 15 degrees and delete it. And now I'm going to trim it away. Ah, it won't let me because. It wants me to take this away too, so I'm going to do that. Oh man, there we go, delete that number too. There we go. Alright, finish the sketch. And revolve here to here. Hit OK. And now we're going to start a new sketch. I'm going to project my geometry so I can get a center point. All right, so I'm just going to add a point on here, right in the middle. And now I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to add a hole. So uh, you might need to hit the down arrow on your thread, find the hole, or it might just be right on top, just like it's right there. We're going to use a counter bore hole. So it's right here. This top to be 0.875 and the depth to be 0 0.375. We want the depth to be 1.5 and the second diameter to be 0 0.375. Okay, on our first page there is a note underneath the train block that says, note, all holes are drilled with point angles. So we're going to keep this point angle and click Okay, and then it also tells us underneath the stack notes this year it says note optional chamfer bottom edge 0 0.01 by 45 degrees. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to make that chamfered edge and we want the distance to be 0 0.01 and the angle to be 45, so I'm going to click here and here, and I'm going to OK that. And then we also need to change our material, oops, I missed, change our material to ABS plastic. It's got that little shine on it. All right, I think I'm done. Double check my measurements, uh, but first I'm going to save it put it in my train folder and call this the stack and your initials and then don't forget to upload it to your Google folder and eventually turn it in. Alright, thanks.